Fallout 4 in VR is an absolutely amazing experience when you have the right mods. Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to mod Fallout 4 VR for 2026 using Mod Organizer 2 and a selection of mods that I would highly recommend. And as always guys, make sure to subscribe because I am reviewing all of my old VR modding guides for 2026. Last week I did Skyrim VR. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, of course, the first step is to install Fallout 4 VR. We're going to go ahead and select install. We're going to hit this cog button and we're going to go to this drop down menu. And the reason why we're going to do that is because we want to install the game outside of program files. So hit the drop down menu, choose add a drive, and then you can select let me choose another location that can be on your C drive or on a different drive. Just make sure if you can, it's an SSD and it's outside of program files. Now, while this is downloading, we're going to head over to nexusmods.com and we're going to make ourselves an account. It doesn't have to be a premium account as long as we have an account. And once we're logged in, we're going to go and search for Mod Organizer 2 and we're going to download that. Now, before we install Mod Organizer 2, we are going to run Fallout 4 VR at least once, once it's fully installed. That way, the background INI files get created. So connect your VR headset to your computer and run Fallout 4 VR. And as you can see, this game looks absolute trash without mods. So exit the game because we're about to fix that. Now go over to your Mod Organizer 2 download and click install. We're going to push yes and we're going to go through a few options. Of course, we're going to accept and agree and we can install it in our C drive or in the drive where we have installed the game. I'm going to install it in the drive where we installed the game and I'm going to name it Mod Organizer 2 or MO2. If I push next, we're just going to make sure that these are all selected. I'm going to push next again and next again. Now I'm going to create a shortcut here, but it's not really mandatory. You can launch it any way you want. We're going to let this install for a second. Now the first time that we run Mod Organizer 2, it's going to give us a few options. We're going to create a new instance. New instances are really awesome because we can change between them and it'll change the mod lists. So we're going to create a global instance and that will allow us to basically flit between different selections of mods as and when we want. Now it's going to let us choose our game. Here you're going to see I'm selecting Skyrim VR and that's because this is the first time I installed MO2 on this device, but you are obviously going to select Fallout 4 VR. We're going to go ahead and name it. This is just our new instance, bearing in mind that we can make multiple instances and make sure you select everything that I select here. We're going to push next on this. Now it doesn't really matter where you select data, so just choose a folder or use a default. And once we push next, it's going to take us over to this page. It's very important that we connect to Nexus. So we're going to push that Nexus button, connect to Nexus, making sure that our browser is open with um, Nexus mods uh, selected, as you can see there. So with this page open, we're going to push connect to Nexus. And what's going to happen is it's going to do that. And if you go over to your browser, you'll see that it's asking to connect. Make sure you authorize that. That basically will allow Mod Organizer 2 to automatically link any of the downloads you choose from your browser. Super, super handy, super, super quick, and basically uh, mandatory. So now we basically almost are there. Once Mod Organizer 2 opens, it's gonna ask us if we wanna know the tutorial. It's up to you to watch that if you want to. I personally won't be doing that. And here we're gonna select do nothing for category setup. And then last but not least, it's very important that we choose allow Mod Organizer 2 to handle NXM links. Push yes to this, very important. Now, once we've done that, Fallout 4 VR is ready to be modded. If you can see here, I have my Nexus account linked. I've just gone and checked that in tools. Everything should look as it does here. Now we're going to head over to Google because it's time to install our script extender. Fallout 4 and Skyrim both use script extenders. Once we have Googled F4SE, you'll see a website called f4se.silverlock.org. Over there, we are going to select the Fallout 4 VR version of F4SE. 
So let's just drag that to our desktop for ease of use. We are now going to manually install our Fallout 4 script extender by going over to Steam. We're going to right click our game, we're going to go to properties, we're going to go to installed files, and we're going to go browse. This is going to show us the folder where our executable is. Here you can see it right there. Now, what I want to do is drop and drag the contents of the folder that's inside this folder. So click it once. And as you can see, I click it again, that inside needs to be dragged into the Fallout 4 VR area. And that's how you manually install the Fallout 4 script extender. Now, once I run Mod Organizer 2, if I go to this drop down menu, it should say Fallout script extender. But if it doesn't, we're going to go ahead and push edit. And from here, we're going to push plus, add from file, and then we're going to select the script extender, the F for SE VR loader. That's going to be in the same folder that we were just in a moment ago where the executable is. Don't choose the executable, choose the script extender. Push apply, push OK, and here it is, F for SE loader. That is our script extender loader, and that's how we're going to be launching the game. Now, speaking of launching the game, it's time to test the script extender. So we're going to select it from the drop down menu and we're going to push run. Make sure we are connected to our computer with our VR headset. You can see I am here and we're going to test it. If it goes all the way through to menu and into game, then we know it's working and we're ready to start adding mods. Before we do that, though, we need to do one last thing. We're going to go over to tools on the menu here. We're going to go to tool plugins and we are gonna to go to the INI editor. And when you look in there, everything should be at standard moddable. So it needs to look like this. I will copy and paste everything that you can copy across in the description. So look at the description of the video, but very important Fallout 4 custom INI needs to look like this. So check my description. If it doesn't look the same, um, copy and paste this as is. It's very important just going to allow mods to run. Time to download some mods, guys. Let's go over to Nexus Mods. And first up, we're going to search for Frick. Full body player with IK. And we're going to select files and we're going to select Mod Manager Download. We're going to right click VR address library and open a new tab. This is a prerequisite for Frick. We're also going to push download here. So now Mod Manager is downloading Frick, and here is the VR address library. We're going to download that as well. So the prerequisite is there. The other prerequisite was F4SC. We've already downloaded that. We're also going to download VR overhaul, weapon overhaul, um, and we're going to download better scopes. This is just a core bunch of mods I would recommend. And here you can see again, we have a prerequisite. We're going to open that. We've already got F4SC VR. And we're just going to push download and we're going to go over and push download. Make sure you go to files and download. That's how we download using mod organizer too. And here you can see all of the downloaded mods in the download tab. So we're going to go ahead and right click and install them one by one. Now, throughout your process of installing mods every now and then, a menu like this is going to pop up. Just select the options that you think are best for you. When it asks if you have a certain mod and you don't have that mod, obviously keep that mod unselected. Perfect, now we have all of the mods installed. It's time to tick them all active on this menu. And it's time to start up our game once again using the FOSE loader with our VR headset connected. And we're doing this to test the mods. It's very important we do this in stages because if we do it once all of the mods are installed, we will struggle to find what mod might be conflicting. And here you can see we have a successful boot. So let's get into game and see what is going on. Perfect, so I can see I have hands and my Pip-Boy is much better, it's not janky. So it's time to make the game look a little bit better. And now we're back on nexusmods.com. We are gonna download four mods called Vivid Fallout All-in-One and all three of the Saverin X HD uh, texture packs. And I'm gonna put the links of all of these downloads in the description of this video. Make sure you download them like we did with the previous mods and install them the same way. Now here you can see I'm over back on Mod Organizer 2 after downloading all of the texture files. They're a little bit bigger than the other mods, a couple gigabytes here and there. We're gonna push install. And once we've done that, we are gonna push the blue tick to activate them. And then 
as always, once they're all done, we're gonna run the game. And that's just gonna be to test these texture packs and make sure we don't have any conflicts. Now guys, this is the last stage of the modding process. Here you can see we have a bunch of awesome mods working. We have the core, we have our body, we have new textures. Now it's all the extras, lighting and trees, which we're going to mod and I would highly recommend the following mods a lot of them are going to come with prerequisites you're going to see me opening those prerequisites in an extra tab it's very important you do the same and once again like I said I will be listing all of these mods in the description of this video so don't worry you don't have to pay too much attention to this bit just make sure that you download the prerequisites to each mod every now and then it will say Fallout 4 script extender or F4SE you know you already have downloaded and installed that so don't worry also, some of the mods, guys, are prerequisites to other mods. So if you download them twice, don't worry, Mod Organizer 2 will tell you. Now we are going to right click them in the Downloads tab and we're going to install them one by one, just as we did before. Now all these mods are going to make incredible changes to the game's graphics. They are going to overhaul the landscape with incredible trees. They're going to change the way the water looks, the way the light reflects off the water, the way the light comes through the sky. They're going to change everything and they are awesome mods make sure you install them you will also have the prerequisites to install make sure you select options as well whatever you think is best for your computer don't worry you can always reinstall the mod if you want to change some of the settings and here we are guys <clears throat> loading in to the fully modded game and uh, i have to say <laughs> i was quite blown away i forgot how amazing this game looked Whoa. That's insane. Whoa. Guys, I just want to thank you for watching this video. I do really hope that it was helpful for you. If it was, make sure to like and subscribe because as I said before, I'm going to be going through all of my mod videos and remaking them for 2026. If you come across any problems or if you have any questions, please just drop a comment and I'll do my very best to get to you as soon as possible. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.